Hi everyone, look what I found at Target, the Mini Brand Series 3 Mini Mart. I was so excited to find this and as you know, if you want to complete your Series 3 collection, you will probably have to get one of these because some of the minis on the collector's guide can only be found in the Mini Mart. Let me show you. So as you can see on this collector's guide, number 22, which is the Reese's Pieces, can only be found in the Mini Mart. It has this symbol right here. It's a green shopping cart. So every mini that you see on the collector's guide with this symbol will be in the Mini Mart. I'm not gonna show you the other ones. We're gonna have to open the Mini Mart and find out. This is actually the first Mini Mart that I unbox and put together. I've never done series one, I've never done series two, but series three, I kind of have to do it because I need these minis to complete my collection. Oh, that is nice. We have some packages. You know what, let's just dump everything on the table. All right, these are the stickers. Very nice looking. This seems to be a collector's guide, which you just have one fold here as opposed to the other collector's guide, which is all crinkled up. Here you have all the instructions to assemble this Mini Mart, and they're like huge. Check this out. So at the end, it should look something like this. I wish it would look something like this, but I, I don't have all the minis in there. Let's start organizing these and putting everything together. Okay, so I thought that on the assembly instructions, uh, you will have some kind of clues as to what's inside each of these uh, packets, but I see there are different colors, but that doesn't seem to, to mean anything. So I'm gonna have to open all of them and get organized and assemble it from there. All right, and here I think we have the the coolers. And here I think we have some shelves. Yep. I think these are the cash registers. This is, I think, another cash register. Oh, that's a big one. I think this might be the storefront. Oh, look. It has a little tab over there so you can just rip it off. Oh, this is the one that makes the sounds, I think. <gasps> we have the minis in here. Okay, let's let's get them out. All right, let's see. We have the Belvira blueberry. All right, the next one is the Icebreakers Mints. The blue one, we already have the pink one, the Sours, these are the mints. Okay, next up we have the Holy Guacamole, the spicy one. Oh, it says make it spicy. Does that mean you add spices to it, like jalapenos, or it already is spicy? Not sure, but it looks really cute. I wonder what's inside it. You know, I'm really crazy about opening all of these and see what's inside it, but yeah, I'm not gonna open this one because this is the only one I have. And we have the Smarties. Oh, and let's not forget, we also have this, the Reese's Pieces. So let's get this one out. So the easiest way to get this out is to put your hand in the box and you're gonna feel for some, some tape. So just peel that off. All right, once you peeled it off, this should just pop out like this. There you go. And then you have your Reese's Pieces. These are all the mini brands you will get in the Mini Mart. These are most likely the plates. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna stop opening everything else and just start with the plates and assemble this Mini Mart. Okay, here's a quick tip. On the assembly guide, it has these letters also. 
and it shows you where to put them. So this is A, this is plate D, this is says B here and C here and so on. So it's easier to put them together if you pay attention to these things. I know it's really hard to see this because of the light, but I'm gonna try to do it in post so that you can see it better. And then we're also gonna add these to the side now and you'll be able to at least see the layout. I think we need to open more of these because I need a few pieces that I cannot see. Yep, there we go, those are the ones. Okay, these we're gonna put to the side for now. Let me give you a closer look to see how it is so far. See, this is the exit slash entrance. And then this is where the cash registers will go. We're gonna need to assemble those in a bit. But so far it looks pretty good. I really like the way it, it's taking shape. We're gonna start with this sound making thingy. I think there's already batteries inside, so we're gonna test it out to see how it sounds in a little bit. Okay, stickers are on. And now we need to put one more over here, I think. So this will go here in a corner. So we're gonna have to put a sticker here and one here. We're gonna pull this tab out. Okay, that's not bad. I thought it will say something like, welcome to the mini brands, mini store or something like that. <laughs> But it's, it's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, it's different sounds. Okay, I didn't know that. So you heard the first one. That was the second one. Let's hear if there's any more. Okay, that one was cool. So... Okay, that's different, so that's the fourth sound. That's the fifth. So we have five different sounds in here for now. Let's see if we have more. I think it's just shuffling through them. They're not coming out in any particular order. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I really like it. It's really, really cool. Okay, let's move on. So now we're just gonna assemble the rest of the accessories. Okay, here's the second cash register. Let's move on to the next accessory.
here we have those two. Now we're gonna have to build a thingy that's going on the side. Now we just have to make sure that these side shelves are aligning with these ones that we put in so that it looks nice. So it should look something like this. And now we're gonna combine all these three with this one over here. So let's just do this. Let's do this one first. Okay, then we add this. And last but not least, we add this piece to the side. All right, and now for the stickers. And then on the other side, All right, and now the price tags, all done. Looking pretty neat. It's a bit wobbly down here, but I'm guessing once we put it in, it's gonna stay nice and put. We have two of these, so I'm just gonna Skip forward to the second one. Okay, here's the second one. Now let's add the stickers. The stickers have been added and it should look something like this. Now one of them will just be like this. And then this one will have two of the other shelving units tied over here. I'm gonna build these and I'm gonna show you what I mean. Okay, now that these two shelving units are built, you will put them like this, back to back. There you go, and now, you're taking this one and just attach it right there. And then you have a shelving unit that you can shelve on three different sides. Looks pretty neat. Okay, so I'm not sure what these are for, but I'm guessing they're part of something else that we have in here. So let's keep building. Okay, it seems like these are the refrigeration units. Doesn't seem like there's too much to build, but let's put them together real quick. This is how the fridge should look. All right, there we go. We have two fridges here. And now these two will be united at the top using this. All right, there you have it. This is the refrigerator section and these open. And you can put your minis in there. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, I'm guessing this is the produce section where you have your apples and fruits and vegetables and stuff. Okay, I think this is it. Let's add the stickers. All right, now we need to add more stickers here and each side should coincide with whatever is here on top. You know what, let's make it easier on ourselves and just remove this part. All right, this is gonna be much easier. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Here we have the shopping cart with the shopping basket at the top. Oh, and let's not forget the sticker. All right, moving on. Okay, here they are. I'm just gonna add the stickers now.
These stickers are the hardest to get because they're exactly the same size and it's easy to just misplace them and you know, they come out crooked, but it seems like I got this one pretty good. Uh, the longer these are, the stickers, the harder it is to get it, you know, perfect, especially the ones that like round like this, that like go around the corner. Yeah, those are really hard to get, you know, perfect and nice. See? You don't get it perfectly all the way to the end. It's not going to look that good. So let's remove it and I'm going to add it again. Get all the way there till the end. Hold it in. There we go. Much better. All right, there you go. We still have these two and I'm really, really not sure where they go. I cannot see them anywhere on the list, but I'm going to look again. Let's see. Um, oh, okay. I know what these are. So if you have, um, shelving units like, uh, like these ones. Okay. Let me show you. If you have these ones, so just this part here. And if you have multiple of these from, you know, from collecting the mini brands, um, you can get four. So it's going to be like these two and then another two over here. And then you can use this piece that they included in the mini mart to connect all of them and then expand your mini mart. So that's why we have these two extras and they also come, uh, they also come with stickers. Let me show you real quick. See, these are the stickers they come with. It also seems like you have a few extra stickers for your shelves if you need them. Um, and this is for the entrance. I'm not sure if these two are extra. I'm going to check right now. And also these two, I'm going to check real quick to see if I missed anything, but I'm pretty sure they're just extras. Yep. It seems like, yeah, it seems like these stickers are just extra ones in case you, you know, damage one of them or you didn't get it right and you need to take it off. Um, but yeah. Okay. So let's put this one together and then we're going to assemble everything. So we're going to start by putting the sticker first because it's a lot easier to add your stickers before you put it together. Okay. This is a lot bigger sticker than the other ones, which means there's higher chances of putting it in wrong. So I'm going to take some extra time with this. Okay. I think I got it in pretty good. Okay. So now we need to add this thing here at the top. All right. And now these two over here. One on this side and one on the other side. Okay. We have completed everything. It's time to put everything on the floor, on the base plates and see how it looks. Oh, I forgot one more thing. These two over here. So these are the things that go here which is kind of like, you know, when you, when you go in and they kind of open like that. Yeah. We just need to put the stickers on and then we're going to put them in. All right. Stickers are on. Just going to push them in like so. Okay. Let's put the fridges here, at the back of the store. All right, the produce section is going to be over here. The noise making thingy, it's going to be here on the corner. Whoops, that scared me. <laughs> All right, the cash registers are going to be here. Okay, next up, we're going to put this wall shelving unit. Seems like the stickers are kind of coming off, but we're going to just press them down there again. All right. This one should go right over here. All right. Next up will be this thingy here. We're going to put it right over here. And then this one will go over here.
All right. I like the way, like once you put them in, they're pretty sturdy, like they're not going to move, which is really good. Now, do you see those little indentations here? So that's where these will go. We're going to put one over there. They don't snap in, but they just like, you know, stay put. Like if you move it around a bit, it's not going to just roll over everywhere. All right. And in the building guide, it says that this should go here. And then this one should go over here. Here it is. I wonder if I can lift it up. Eh, maybe it's a bad idea. You know what? I'm just going to take the camera and show you. I don't want to break it now. So see, you have this space here. So if you have two of these, you can actually attach them to this one. It will look exactly like this. You know, and then for here, you have the option of putting those. Um, I think you can put those things I told you about that, you know, you can attach these two and combine them together and maybe make like a really long row over here. That's what I'm thinking, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look into it a bit more. You know what? Let's add the minis we already got in the mini mart. So we got the guacamole. We're going to put it over here. We got the Belvita. Let's put it over here. The icebreaker mints. I'm gonna put them here on top. The Smarties. Come over there. And then the Reese's Pieces. So there you have it. This is the Mini Brands Series 3 Mini Mart. I am really glad I got one of these. It's actually really fun to build it and it looks pretty neat. And I think there's also a possibility of expanding this. I saw at the end, like just behind the fridge section, there's actually studs that you can put more base plates and expand your mini mart, which is a really good thing. Cause if you have series one, maybe you can attach it to this or even series two mini mart, you can attach it to this and have a really huge supermarket and just the mini mart. One of the things I like the most is how they incorporated this um, sound effect thing here in the corner where you can um, play sounds that you would hear in a store, like the cash register and then, you know, a busy store with people shopping. I think that was a really good idea. I also like the fact that you can expand it and then you can kind of like move things around. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like me to make another one where I fill up all the shelves with the mini brand series three that I have so far, please let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave a like to the video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so you'll know whenever I post a new video. As always, stay golden and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.